Hi, today Jake the Lion King and I would like to paint a picture for you. When I went to France, I went with one of the big reasons of finding uh, how pastures and how those vineyards all connect with each other. So today I'm going to paint a picture showing a pasture with all the various lines as it crisscrosses each other. Is that okay with you, Jake? Hmm? Is that okay with you? Okay. All right. So here we go. Enjoy. I've used a gray undertone. I'm catching some of the dark tones of the of the back uh, trees there and bushes with a little bit of light on the top. There's another hill up there which is very pale so I'm going to just put it in a little bit It has a few little trees up there. Just move your brush back and forth as if you're dancing it, particularly if you have a little bit of dark and a little bit of light on your on your brush. Not that dark. <clears throat> I'm using cerulean blue and white. I'm going to make the sky darker on one side than the other. Sky usually varies from one side to the other. And in a painting, you can cover more territory. Notice that I've undertoned in gray. The reason I undertone is that any little spot that wasn't covered has a common color behind it, which is a neutral gray. Otherwise, we'd be seeing the white canvas. Okay. I'm just putting in the shape of the house right now. When the roof gets too big, I can add trees to the back and just make the trees come closer to the roof of the house so it, it matches what line I want to, to put out. Usually the back hill has lightness to it, so I'm going to put yellow ochre, cad yellow light, 
and white. I hope you're painting along with me, just for the fun of it. To make the back pasture look lighter, make the bushes dark at the base. Hi, I have stepped ahead a little bit just in the interest of time, but I think it will be easy for you to catch up to me and follow what I did. And we are looking at this painting here so that you are, you can keep looking at the painting and paint along with me. They had flower gardens, but the flowers were indescribable because they were so far away. So it's more just adding color there. Anytime you want to have a, a very big difference, you need to have dark next to light so that it helps show the variation in color. If you notice how I'm holding my brush, there is no way to be able to move along like this if I'm going like this as a pencil. So when I hold it like this, I can scrub with the edge of my brush, with the, the side of it.
Having bushes between the colors helps a lot to define the difference of the areas. And in France, they use the trees and bushes many times to protect their plants from the wind. And it may be protecting a property from one person's to the next. Once again, I do take longer when I'm not trying to show you all of the variations when I'm painting on my own, but I hope it helps you get a general idea. We never paint anything going directly off the corner because that would take the eye directly off the side and we want to bring them back into the painting. Okay, since this is kind of a field of flowers, I'm just going to do a suggestion of color. with some dark green in between, coming right up to those flowers. Notice that they are not polka dots, but they are groups of color that hook together. And in only certain spots do I call one out as an individual flower. Your brain will say, oh, that's a group of white flowers. or whatever color you're painting. Well, I'm going to wrap this up. We could add more clouds. As you can see in the main picture, you can have clouds coming over the horizon. You can add more yellow and white to make some of the areas brighter. But for those of you who have requested just how you would go about drawing a farm in the background or a barn or a house, um, maybe this will help you kind of get some ideas for it. I'm going to finish it off camera, but I hope you've had fun joining and painting with me today. I hope you're also taking painting lessons in your local area because every teacher has a little gem to share out of every painting class. Thank you for joining me. See you soon.